everyone. I wanted to touch base because I've had a few emails with questions about writing assignment number four, and so I thought I would record a quick video to share with everyone just in case there are others out there who are struggling with some of the same problems. So one of the things that has been asked a couple of times is if the thesis statement for this essay should be the same as the thesis statement for your writing project three. My response to that is, for your remix project, writing assignment four, you are likely responding to a different audience with a slightly different purpose. So your thesis statement may be very similar that it was to writing project three, but you may need to tweak it a little bit to highlight the specifics that you're talking to the particular audience. Um, so for example, in writing project three, you were communicating to more of just a general academic audience, for this writing project, you may be communicating to specific communicate excuse me, to specific community partners. So you may be talking to parents, you may be talking to teachers, you may be talking to uh, members of the local government. So because of that, you may need to revise your thesis statement to make it more appropriate for the audience. You may need to make it more approachable, more um, kind of casual language, more you know, just thinking about how can I actually communicate this information to my specific audience. So your thesis statement will likely be very similar and that's perfectly fine. But just remember, you're talking to a different audience this time, so you may need to tweak it a bit. Another thing that I've asked, uh, had a few questions asked about is the multimodal component. So for the multimodal component, your, it's really up to you how creative you want to be. Um, you could do something really creative, like create a, record a video um, about your topic or a little PSA about your topic, like something that you would see on a commercial. You could do something a little bit more simple, like maybe create a digital poster or a flyer. Um, you could create a, a song or a radio advertisement about your topic if you think that's appro appropriate. You could create a presentation about your topic if you think that's appropriate. Like maybe you're thinking about presenting something to a local school board, a, a presentation like a Prezi or a Google Slideshow or um, a PowerPoint would be perfectly acceptable for that. Um, so when you're thinking about your multimodal component, again, it really has to do with who your target audience is and how you want to reach them. So if I'm talking to a group of college students, I'm going to choose a different multimodal component than I would choose if I was talking to a group of retirees. So for my college students, I might choose to create a cool, quick YouTube PSA that has really approachable casual language, references pop culture, bright flashy colors, um, maybe not so much reliance on statistics and things like that. If I am creating something that is targeting a group of retirees, I might go with something more traditional, like maybe a poster that shows information about my topic and shows statistics and data so that they could be convinced. And you'll see when you're thinking about this, what you choose is largely dependent upon who you're talking to and what you want them to do. The second question I've gotten about the multimodal component is whether it is due with your rough draft on Monday. And my question, my response to that is that it is not necessarily due. You don't have to have a draft of it. However, if you do have a draft of it that you can include with your rough draft next week, then you'll get feedback from your peers, which I think will be very helpful. Um, if you don't have a draft of it, though, for the multi if you don't have a draft of the multimodal component for your rough draft, that's okay. But I think it would be very advantageous for you to try to get at least something rough worked up so you can get some ideas from your peers. So those are the questions that I've been fielding quite a bit recently. So I wanted to just pop on and respond to those questions. If you have any additional questions or you're struggling with this, this assignment, I know it's slightly different than things that you've probably done before. Please let me know. I'm here to help and I'm happy to help you brainstorm ideas and just kind of help you be a sounding board to, to vent your ideas to. So if you have any questions that weren't covered in this video, just let me know. Thanks.